Welcome to TradersArmy.com, defending your right to build wealth and preserve capital for generations to come. Hey everybody, welcome to today's edition of the Daily Market Commentary. I am your host, Chuck Fulkerson, joined by the most amazing co-host that's ever lived, Charlie. We're going to do what we do each and every day, looking at the same 10 to 12 futures markets, identifying potential breakout trades and reversals from an educational perspective. But I do have one quick announcement to make. Uh, for those of you that are interested, we have a free preview week starting Sunday night. So starting tomorrow, uh, excuse me, uh, Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central, we're going to do a, uh, a a swing trading room. The first hour, we focus on uh, futures and Forex. The second hour, we spend on options and equity positions. So we're going to build some trades. So I really, really would love to have you get a chance to see what it is that we do at Traders Army. Uh, you're also going to get access to our uh, private trade feed and some of our uh, on our trade worksheet that we go through. You know, it's kind of how we do our updates throughout the week. So. All you got to do is go to tradersarmy.com and you can sign up for a free membership. All everybody that has a free membership is going to get access to our free preview week. So let's and go push ahead and subscribe. That's a good idea. Push the subscribe button so that we get. So let's dive right in. That's right. Let's dive right in. So today we are looking at our four major markets. I'm only going to look at the four major markets today. Um, running a little bit tight on time with the little dude today, uh, but looking at the ES, which is our S and P 500. Now, some of the lines you see on here are from yesterday's live trade room, and we looked at this level yesterday, this live trade room. So in this area here, price was going up and it's hit its head and come back down, and it went up and it hit its head and it's come back down, and it went up again and was basing in front of this level. So if 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 something keeps going up. If something keeps going up and we hit our head on it, what would we call that? That blue line, is that going to be a floor or is that going to be a ceiling, Charlie? Ceiling. Ceiling. So once price breaks through the ceiling, which way is it going to keep going? Up until it hits a new ceiling, which is going to be that one. Yeah, the blue line up here at 2871, right? So we saw that price broke through that level. Now, if you took that trade, now is definitely an, an opportunity to take your stop and move it to break even. I may even say to take your stop and move it up here to 2846, lock in a little bit of profit. So that trade has worked out really well. Uh, for those of you that, uh, that, that jumped in on that one, uh, you can even, if you didn't get in on that one and you're still interested, uh, when I look at the, at the one hour chart, I can see that we had a little bit of basing right in here. Now this, this basing occurred at right about 2 a.m. So right there at the 1 a.m., 2 a.m., right there at the European market open. So if you're so inclined, you could get a little bit of a reversal trade in here um, when price comes back into that level, that 2850 by 2847. So we're getting a little pullback in that now. NASDAQ, same basic picture. Um, yesterday in the NASDAQ, we had a reversal trade down here on a 15-minute chart. So price hit that level, and we got a nice little move away from there. And then we hit the ceiling, and price broke above the ceiling. So now both of those levels need to be removed. Um, and we are looking at the same, uh, the same trade, if you will, on the, on the NASDAQ as we are on the S&P, uh, right around that, Euro that European market open. As I kind of look at here, now prices are going which way here, Charlie? Are they going up or down? Up. Up. So and the way I see it is it's going to go down, I think. Well, it's only right at go, that so, red tip. Right here. So the chances are that it may come down into here, and then that is what we would call the beginning of a little mountain. So when price comes back to the beginning of a little mountain, which way is it going to go? So mountains go... Up. Slides go... Down. So if we go back to the beginning of a mountain, we're probably going to go up. Up. And if we go back to the top of a slide, we're probably going to go which way? Down. Down. So but so we're looking. You cannot climb a slide. Thank you very much. Yeah, you don't want to climb a slide, right? So where do we see the top of a slide? So I've got to look. In order to find the top of a slide, I've got to look at my current price, and I need to look up and to the left to find a a, a, a nice slide. This area right here is really our next best slide top. See how that slide went straight down? Mm -hmm. And when a slide goes straight down, that's where we anticipate a decent reversal. So we've got a little bit of a slide right here, which also is kind of acting like a ceiling. 
So there's a chance that we'll reverse at this level here, but in, in, in all reality, I believe there's a better probability of us breaking through here and maybe making it up to this region eventually, okay? Next, let's go look at crude oil and gold. <clears throat> so looking at crude, um, we, have a, we have a supply level here up above that's a confirmation short. Yesterday, the level I was looking at was, uh, was this area right in here. The, the problem with this area in here was all the basing that we had in front of the level, right? So basing in front of the level kind of is the kiss of death. But we are putting in a little bit of, you know, our, our downside momentum is starting to slow. We're starting to see prices come up just a little bit. I'm not willing to be bullish yet um, because I've not gotten a higher swing higher and a higher swing low as of yet. I need to get above some of these levels first. So for now, you know, if you're looking at if you're looking at oil, I'll be okay if you, you know, if you wanted to take a short outside of this basing area, I'd be all right with that. Know that your stop would have to go above this pivot. Um, that's that's really kind of the best opportunity in there. And then gold, uh, looking at gold, we had looked at a little reversal level off of here yesterday, got a little bit of a of a pullback, but gold is is creating a bit of a triangle pattern, right? You see how we've how we've got a little bit of a triangle pattern here. All right now, when I look at a triangle pattern, what I'm essentially looking at is how many touches did I get? One, two, three, four, five. And so typically when you see these kind of triangle patterns after bullish moves, they technically can break one way or the other. Um, the, the move is more extreme. Typically it's more extreme if the breakout occurs to the downside. Um, if you if you go back and look at some some old school chart pattern analysis, typically it's more extreme if the breakout is to the downside. However, the breakout uh, to the upside um, will still you know be can could still be a decent move. The the problem with breaking out to the upside is if I go to the four hour chart and I look back further, we do have this little bit of old school supply right here, and this old area of supply. Um, we've hit it once and we got a little move away and we're kind of basing below that. So if we break out to the upside, we could still reverse at this, at this, at this upper level of supply. If we break out to the downside, then what it does in my mind is it gives me a better opportunity to get long on a pullback somewhere down in here. Okay. So those are the levels I'm looking at today. Those are the only four markets that I'm going to dive into this morning. Um, once again, go to tradersarmy.com. I'd love to see you in the free preview week. You know, we, we and really dive into other pools. Yeah, dive into other pools. <laughs> We're gonna uh, we'd love to see you in the free preview week. Come on, join us, see see what it is that we do each and every week. So thank you so much, everybody. I hope you have an absolutely amazing weekend. Say bye, Charlie. Peace out. I know that you're Peace out. <laughs>